What's up guys, Acer Thorn here, and this is a first impressions playthrough of the demo for Loop Hero. As of the time of this recording, this game has not yet come out, but by the time this game goes this video goes public, it will have come out. Now, this video this it looks like it can only be played with a keyboard and mouse, so that is what I will play it with. This is supposed to be a card battle game. The stars in the sky are coming out one by one. But no one notices it, no one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before... Before it is too late, sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed, even the memory of it will be gone. But don't you know, memories are forever. They can just be passed on by receivers of memory. Or rather, by givers to receivers, sorry. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing everything back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. Well, if it's impossible, then the fact that they're willing to do it doesn't fucking matter. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Here, where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. Press the switch to change between adventure, traveling through the map, and planning, stop modes. Right click or space. Huh. Press the switch? Well, what do you mean? There we go. Hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall, if such thing as a night still even exists without a sky, of course. Well, there's always going to be a sky of some kind. Pay attention to the day progress bar at the top of this screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Well, thank you. A living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to... Okay, now do I finally get to actually do some card battle gameplay? Traveling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically. Yeah, thank you. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there is a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. Haven't it? You want? You know what to do? No, I don't know what to do. Equip an item to continue. Do I do this? I think I remember that there was a grove nearby, and these even are these even my memories, or do they belong to that slime? You can use the cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Huh. Now continue with your journey. Gotcha. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Oh, I got a wolf. There we go. Forest Rat Wolf. I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered as a bad damn. It's like, it's good that nobody's listening. Surprise, motherfucker. I'm listening, and I th am completely bored. I wish I could actually do something here. 
All right. Oh. Uh, let me put the forest down here. A ritual sword. Okay. Equip a new weapon and place a new card on the map to continue. Okay. Can I... What the fuck? It's not letting me place the damn thing! You can get new items... Okay, some items have unique... Do I move the card to this... Over to here? Oh my fucking... Where the hell do I... Where the hell do you want me to place this damn... Thank you. Great, so there was a mountain over there, and here is a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. <sighs> okay. So now I'm just going around in circles. I think it's time to have some rest. Retreat to the camp by pressing the button. Retreat. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both these problems. Build. Cut. Gymnasium. Refuge. Field kitchen. Smithy. Campfire. There we go. Click anywhere to complete the tutorial. Okay. Uh, okay, expedition menu, so what the hell, okay. <sighs> the path, everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions even have any meaning? Like I have a choice, if one needed to give up and carry in the in cry to save the world, I would be the worst savior of all. Let's do it. Okay, that is just dumb. All right, so here I am, just not even playing the game. Literally not even bothering to play the fucking game. So if you're the average YouTube viewer, you're probably thinking that you'd like to support your favorite content creators, but you either don't want to or can't afford to spend any money. Well, I did a little poking around and you're in luck. There is a way you can support this channel for the same money you were just gonna be spending anyway, as long as you were otherwise an Amazon.com regular shopper. Look in the description of this video, and you should see this Amazon referral link. Clicking on it will take you to an iPhone 11 for sale on Amazon.com. But even if you aren't interested in that iPhone, once you click on that link, you'll have 24 hours to make a purchase. Any purchase on Amazon. As long as you make literally any purchase on Amazon within 24 hours of clicking that link, I will get a cut of the sales revenue. This means that you will be supporting my channel by spending the exact same money you were just going to be spending anyway. Of course, you can also support me in a more direct way for as little as $1 per month by heading over to patreon.com slash acerthorn. Regardless of your method, I hope you choose to support the channel so I can one day do this full time. All right. Resuming the video you all came to see in three, two, one. So literally, there's, there's virtually no gameplay in all of this. It's like, I lit. This is only. This is supposed to be a card battle game, but instead.
I, I have no free. There. I do not. I don't even fight the enemies. Like seriously, what the fuck? Treasury. What is that? Do uh, all the only interaction I can do? It seems is decide where to place these these cards. But even that doesn't seem to actually matter in the sli in the slightest. Thank God I didn't even pay for this game in the first place. I mean, it's not really pissing me off per se, but it does seem like a complete waste of friggin' time. There, uh, there is almost no gameplay to this. Oh no! I mean, is there supposed? To, am I supposed to be strategically placing the cards in, placing these cards in in special patterns or something? Because that's. Because I was not given any sort of objective to that. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. You know what? Damn. Armor. Armor, 96. 92 ring okay oh my god okay and there we go Let's end the first level, first non-tutorial level, or wait, what the- Oh dear. Like, 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 okay, you know what? You know what? I think that'll be enough. This game has no gameplay to it whatsoever. There does not seem to be any rhyme or reason to this exercise of me just going in a circle, not actually fighting the enemies, but having all of that handled automatically, and then these, there's no point to any of the cards that I'm using. This is supposed to be a card battle game, like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Hearthstone. How... How do you fuck up something as straightforward as a card battle game? Well... This game will not be getting my purchase when it comes out. So tomorrow, I'll be doing a first impressions of Little Nightmares 2. In the meantime, however, I am Acer Thorn, and I will see you guys later.